Hello, everybody. I'm uh, Terrence, and uh, I am happy to be here in this group. Um, I'm a person that uh, when I am asked to share that uh, I uh, struggle with uh, what uh, people will think of me, what uh, I... Uh, will say some of the things that makes no sense and I am am I saying the right thing um do the people understand what I'm saying with my thick accent am I going to be judged um it's a it just keeps going on and on and on and therefore I'm a person that uh, is a fixer and a controller so what I do about it is that uh, I made the choice of accepting and then God is helping me. So first what I do is I pray about it and that I will depend on God's power to help me to make that positive changes. My biggest problem in my life was uh, living in the past at how many years I had of shame, grief, and pain. And uh, I knew I had to do something about it because it was not healthy. So uh, my choice was, okay, do I stay like this? Or what I need to do is doing something better for me. So I decided to uh, start uh, going to Al-Anon and uh, right away, I uh, got a sponsor that did help me very much. So the first time was uh, I met with her and we spoke for two hours. And um, I couldn't believe it. For me, it was like an hour. But uh, it was the best choice again that I made. So slowly, uh, I was opening up about my pain that I was suffering. And never once she made me feel uncomfortable. And of course, I had lots of shame. And she was saying that when I was sharing, it was helping her. I couldn't understand that. It made no sense. So being in recovery groups and doing um, lots of studies in my past, it had helped me at uh, getting some peace. Um, the pain I uh, experienced in the past, now it does help me to uh, relate to others that are in pain. And I do realize I'm not God, and I admit that I'm powerless to control my tendency to do the wrong thing and that my life is unmanageable. Once I made uh, this choice, my life healing journey began. And um, it was about carrying the grief, the pain, and the hurt on my own. I was controlling this all with anger. And that I never realized I was an angry person. So I made the choice of working through and come face to face with the truth about myself that I was trying to hide. As I worked through it, I was filled with regret. I wish I hadn't made those poor decisions. And as I started to face my pain, I had to reach out to God and it was pointed out that I still was making poor choices. So God let me out of my pain and uh, into his healing. And uh, once I made that choice of letting God help me, my anger was not as bad but still there. It is by sharing openly with my uh, 
accountable partner. And then we would pray about it. I moved uh, past the, somewhat the guilt and it started with uh, making an inventory. So I was uh, making some time alone without no one to interrupt me. And by uh, writing it, it made me be more specific. So I saw that uh, I made the poor choice by making the poor choices. And I hurt uh, a lot of uh, the important people in my life. There was a prayer that I saw in one of my studies and it really did touch me. And I really believe that it did help me. And um, I have it here, so I'll read the prayer. And it says, uh, dear God, you know my past, all the good and bad choices I have made and all the good and bad things I have done. I ask that you give me the strength and the courage to listen the items called for. I want to come clean and face the truth. Please open my eyes to the truth of my past, the truth of how others have hurt me and how I have hurt others. Please help me reach out to others you have placed along my pathway to healing. Thank you for providing those individuals to help me keep balance as I do my inventory. As I come clean in this choice, I thank you in advance for the forgiveness you have given me. So that prayer was uh, extremely uh, powerful and I did go to it uh, very often. And um, as I was uh, preparing myself at uh, sharing uh, some of uh, my, uh, uh, sharing my uh, story, uh, there was a word that kept coming up to me and uh, it was direction. So then I started to question myself, what am I doing for direction? And uh, I really do focus on the good and not the bad. And it helps me at having positive thoughts in my mind. So I have godly people that I like to hang around. And that is something that I need. It helps me. And I do see that I have positive changes in my life. And I know focusing on what God wants and me to be, that I am moving in the right direction. The one big thing that um, I was struggling in my past uh, for the hurt and the pain, uh, that was my dad that was killed in a car accident. And my mom was with him as well. And uh, she was fighting for her life. So she uh, did survive. But I lived uh, like with that past for a very long time that I didn't know how to handle. So that was 31 years ago. And uh, I, my way of uh, dealing with it is I stuffed all my emotions, isolate myself, don't talk about it. So how I was coping with life as well was uh, putting a mask, smiling and pretending everything was good. And the day I decided to open up about it, and allowing God to do the work in me, that's where um, God did provide peace in me. And what happened is then the tears were real, and I was not living in the past. 
my mom passed away three years ago. So now um, I was more equipped and uh, I was able to face it. Uh, the pain and the hurt was not as uh, big and I was uh, dealing with it in a healthy way where I didn't let room for the anger to go grow in me. So I accepted her death and uh, I was able to share openly and not uh, isolating. And uh, I know that uh, I was growing that way. And I do realize how healing it was for me as well. I uh, have no problem to reach out to my important people, my godly people, my recovery people when things get tough. Every morning I do uh, a reading uh, and uh, my devotion is the uh, Jesus Calling. And um, as I was doing it this week on March 9th, it uh, really did uh, speak to me about the choices. And I said, oh, that's my title. So here it is. That's what it said. Let me help you through this day. The challenges you face are far too great for you to handle alone. You are keenly aware of your helplessness in the scheme of events you face. This awareness opens up a choice to do godly, no, doggedly go it alone or to walk with me in humble steps of dependence. Actually, this choice is continually before you, but difficulties highlight the decision making process. So consider it all joy whenever you are enveloped in various trials. These are gifts from me, reminding you to rely on me. And that is Psalm 63, 7, 8, and James 1, 2, 3. Beloved, recall a time when you completely depended on me. In what ways will you rely on me today? And um, my way of how I rely on uh, Jesus is uh, I wake up and make a choice of having a positive attitude. And I thank him for this day. So I choose to whatever good or bad happen. I'm not alone. And uh, I, I am well surrounded. I have been practicing to be happy as I face difficulties. I never in the past seen the, that anything that I go through difficult times would be something very healing. So in um, closing, what I am doing with uh, my choices is I must, and I uh, kind of chuckled this morning when I did listen to Vicky and uh, John, and it was about, you must. <laughs> and I said, yes. So what I do is I must commit to myself to a church family. And uh, the one I attend, it is healthy, safe, and a tearing church. Uh, for me, that uh, is a very important as uh, I feel accepted the way I am. And uh, it also provides the recovery group, which it helps me to continue my uh, recovery journey. And I find the people have no mask and makes me welcome. So I am no longer looking for perfection. My happiness is uh, having an 
honest and open relationship with others. So I am not alone. And I try to have a healthy healing choices now.